everyone. Welcome to the revision series of CBSC Learners. This is me, Pooja M. K. Rao. I welcome you all to my online classes. So, today we are going to teach the, not teach, we are going to learn actually about the adverbs. Because this is our revision series and we have already uploaded the noun, pronoun and adjectives. Even prepositions also we have a separate video, isn't it? So, today in this video, we are going to learn about the adverbs because there are several controversies about how many types of adverbs are there, isn't it? So, without wasting further time, let's start the adverbs. Now, what does this adverb do, isn't it? There is a question, why we use actually adverbs in our speech? Actually, it acts as a modifier of your verb or an adjective, okay? It actually modifies it actually describes the verb. Okay. So, let's read the, let's start the definition. Okay. Adverbs. It actually describes the verb or an adjective. And also it modifies them. Okay. And always this asks some questions like they will ask means when you are using adverb they will ask some question how it happened, when it happened, where it happened. Okay, where the action is done, when the action is done, how the action is done, how frequently, how often the action is done, what is the reason of the action done. So, these all questions, these adverbs are going to answer. Okay, so on terms of place, time, manner, purpose, reason, degree, frequency, this adverbs answers all these questions. So, it actually modifies the verb or the adjective or sometimes even the clauses also in terms of in basis of place time manner frequency reason or you can say purpose degree to what extent the work has been done or to what extent something happened, okay? So, it modifies them in terms of place, time, manner, frequency, reason, purpose, degree, okay? So, we can understand that it's having a efficient purpose, isn't it? These adverbs. Now, let me give you some examples and before I will give you some examples, I want to tell you that the on basis of this place, purpose, manner, time, further adverbs can be classified. Okay? So, we are going to classify the adverbs in terms of these, on the basis terms of these things. Okay? Place, time, manner, frequency, reason, purpose, degree. Okay. Now, let me give you some examples of first adverb. Then slowly I will move towards the types of adverb and the examples. Okay. So, let's start with the, let's start with this adverb. Okay. Examples of adverb. So, I hope the definition of adverb is clear to you. Okay. Now, let me give you some examples. I met him today. Rahul ran or you can say runs fastly. Okay. You can use fastly. If you want slowly, you can use slowly. Okay. So, these things are Adverbs, okay? It is where you met, where you met, the question we are, it's arising, isn't it? Where you met, I met him there. So, it is giving you the place where the action has 
has been done. This sentence gives you how. What is the degree? To what extent he ran, isn't it? How the work is done fastly. Okay. Next. I visit my parents twice a week. Okay. So, this one. See, I visit my parents twice a week. It's saying how often the work is done. Okay. So, how often? Twice a week. So, sometimes we confuse between adverb of time and adverb of frequency. Now, one more example I would like to give you. I will go tomorrow. Tomorrow. Now, this word tomorrow. When you will go? The question here arising. When you will go? I will go tomorrow. Here, it is showing the Time, exact time when I will go. Exact time of the action which is going to happen. Isn't it? So it is actually adverb of time. Okay. Now this one you see. I visit my parents twice a week. This one is actually telling how often. It's also giving you the sense of time. Isn't it? But it's actually telling you how often the work is done. Twice a week. Okay. So this is. The examples of adverb and in summary I have just explained you about the types. But right now I will explain you about these types of adverbs in further modified manner. Okay. So let's see the types of adverbs. So how many types of adverbs are there? Okay. So let's see how many types of adverbs are there. Now First one is adverb of time. Now, it describes when the action happens. It will always ask you the question when when the action was done when the action happened when the thing happened okay so for example he will come tomorrow she is going Today. Okay. This all see today, tomorrow. This all is indicating you what it's indicating you. The time. Isn't it? When? When it's going to happen. When the action is going to happen. So these are nothing other than adverb of time. Okay. So next comes so that you don't confuse. Next I will explain you about the adverb of frequency. It is, it always asks you how often the action happen, happens or happens. Okay. Now, adverb of frequency. Adverb of frequency. It describes how often the action happens. Okay. For example, when you say something to someone that I go for a walk daily. Okay. So here see, I go for a walk daily. So how often you go for a walk? I go for a walk daily. Now here the adverb daily is acting as adverb of frequency. Now let me take the first example. Or you can take one more example like I visit temple once a week. Okay. So when these type of words like daily, once, twice, twice. These type of words you see in your sentence which is acting. 
which is describing how often the action is done, you can call them adverb of frequency. Okay. So here the ones. How often you are visiting temples? I visit once a week. Okay. Clear? I hope this is clear to you. Next comes adverb of place. Where the action happens. Okay. So adverb of time, the difference between adverb of time and adverb of frequency is clear to you. Now let me explain you about the adverb of place. Now where the actions happens. Okay. Adverb of place. It describes where the action happens. Okay. For example, see, she was sitting outside. Okay. So, you can see here the word outside. Okay, here the word outside is saying where the action is going, was going on. Okay, so the girl, we can understand from here, from the sentence that the girl was sitting outside. Isn't it? So, the action was happening outside. So, it is giving you the place. It will always ask you the question where the action happens. Okay, so... This one outside, I live here. For example, I will take one more example. I live here. Or sometimes you can tell, we went there. So these here, they, outside, inside. When these words we are taking or we are using to describe the action happened, those words, that time these words can be called as adverb of place. Okay? So, I hope adverb of place is also clear to you. Okay? Next comes the adverb of manner or action. So, how many times up to right still now we have learned about adverb of time, adverb of frequency, adverb of place. Now, we will learn about the adverb of Adverb of manner, okay? So, or this adverb of manner can be called also as adverb of action because it describes how the action happened, okay? How means whether it is happened fastly, slowly, steadily, politely, in which manner it happened, okay? So, let's see the definition of adverb of manner or action, okay? Adverb of manner or action. Manner or action. Okay. So usually we call it as adverb of manner because it describes in which manner how the action is done. Okay. So it describes how the action is done or in which manner. In which manner the action is done. Okay. For example, when we say someone that she writes neatly. How she writes neatly? In which manner she writes neatly? Isn't it? So, let's take the example. She writes neatly. Ram walks slowly. So, these all words, neatly, slowly, these are giving you the in which manner the action in the first sentence, see, she writes neatly. This word neatly is giving you how she writes, how the girl writes. Okay, it's actually describing or modifying the verb, right? But, simultaneously, it is giving you in which manner she writes, neatly. Ram walks slowly. How he walks? How Ram walks? He walks slowly. How? And it is arising the question. How and in which manner? Okay. Next, if we say someone Sita spoke politely. 
in which manner Sita spoke? She spoke in polite manner. It's a manner, isn't it? So, these are the adverb of manner or action. It gives you, it modifies the verb in basis of manner or how the action is done. Okay? So, adverb of manner is clear to you. Next comes the adverb of degree. Okay? To which extent the work is done. Adverb of degree. Degree means to which extent something happens or the action is done. Okay? So, adverb of degree. And go up degree. Okay? So, see, adverb of degree will give you or it will modify to which extent the action happened. Okay? So, let's write down. It describes to which extent the action happened. Or to which extent something happens. So, for example, when we say he walks very fast. So, these words like how he was very fast. So, these words very fast or when we say he was very apologetic. So, they were working very hard. They were working very hard. So, these when we show something very or you can say to what extent. The work is done. Okay. So, this explains you about the adverb of degree. To what extent. Okay. It's, if we say that it's happened to us very uh, fast or very hard. We are working. If, if it shows you the extent, the limit, then you can call them as adverb of degree. Now, we will learn about the adverb of reason. Okay. Now, we are going to learn the adverb of reason. Okay? So, what does the adverb of reason means? It asks you why. Why the action happened. Okay? So, when you want to give someone any excuse, you use the adverb of reason. Isn't it? So, let's see. With the help of example, it will be more clearer to you. It actually describes why the action happened or what is the purpose of the action thus it is also known as Adverb of purpose. Okay. So, it is also known as adverb of person. So, adverb of reason is also known as adverb of person. Okay. For example, when somebody asks you that why you didn't go to school, this is what you will answer. I was sick, thus I didn't go to school. So, I was Sick, thus I didn't go to school. Okay, so here the word thus. So when we give some reason, thus, so that, okay, I started jogging so that I can lose weight. Okay, so see, next one, I started jogging. So that I can lose weight. <coughs> so, 
here so that thus these all act as adverb of reason that means you are giving the answer of why isn't it why you started why you have started jogging i have started jogging because or i started jogging so that i can lose weight okay so you can i was sick thus i did so this the so that because when you give answer of these uh, why questions that is only the adverb of reason okay so i hope that adverb of reason is or purpose here why you are calling it purpose because you are explaining the purpose of the action happened isn't it so you can call it adverb of purpose you can call it adverb of reason okay now comes relative adverbs so what are this relative adverbs these adverbs are usually used when you know these are used when we want to use relative clause okay so these are used when we join two sentences okay relative adverbs okay
when your teacher enters your class and sees the class is a mess, then what she says? Why is the class so messed up? Isn't it? So, let's give the example. Why is this place or class such a mess? When anyone asks you, where are your parents? Okay, then these words, where, why, when. Okay, so these words when act as an adverb in a sentence to ask question, they are known as interrogative adverbs. Okay, where are your parents? Okay, so where, why, okay, these are known as when they are used to ask question, when they are adverbs and they are used to ask question, they are known as interrogative adverbs. Okay. So I hope I have explained you all the adverbs and I think there is no confusion regarding adverb you are having right now. If you like this video, just hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Okay. And if you think it's useful, you can just share with your friends and just stay tuned with us. Thanks for staying tuned with us.